let go of me. Find me. I won't let you go to Ace's birth mother with the truth, Kelly. Any more than I'm going to let Paul get in my way. November 2nd is the most important day of my life. I won't let you ruin it. What are you talking about? What did you do to Paul? Did you two have a fight? Is that why this room is such a mess? I told you, I paid him to leave Landview for good. Did he? You said he hadn't. Forget Paul, all right? This is about you destroying both of us, which is what will happen if you give Ace back to his mother. I can't live with this lie anymore, oh. Kevin. All of a sudden. You have no idea how far I sunk this summer. <laughs> I was living for that boy when you took him away from me. Well, that's over. You get plenty of time with him. Yeah, I wouldn't call what you give me plenty of time. Maybe you didn't realize how bad it was getting. I was hanging on by a thread. I really thought that I was losing it. But I made it through that, and I am never going to let myself sink that low ever again. And you honestly think that it'll make you happier if you give our son back? He's not our son. Our son died. And if there's another woman out there going through even half of what I went through, then I have to make this right. What do you think life's going to be like, Kelly? Huh? You don't have a marriage. And now... You won't have a son. I'll start over. I've got a new job. I'll find an apartment. I'm a lot stronger than what you think. I can make it on my own. This will be the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I was alone when I lost our child, and I made it through that. Well, I would have been there if you would have told me. I would have told you if you wouldn't have left me. But that's exactly what you did. We have created this huge mess, and Ace is at the center of it. Others should not have to suffer for what we did. I am going to make this right, and then I'm going to move on with my life. Oh, does moving on include David Vickers? What does David have to do with any of this? I don't know. I, you know, I ran into him at the gym. He just seemed overly sensitive when I mentioned your name. We're friends. He saw what it did to me when you took Ace away from me. Oh, I get it. One minute you're obsessing about getting me back, and then the next you're moving on to your aunt's fiancé. I don't need another man to get over you. You've been nothing but cruel and sadistic to me. You wrote the book on cruel when you lied to me about Ace in the first place. You are not the only one who lost a son here, Kelly. Then why can't you understand why I'm doing this? Because we have everything we want right now. We have Ace. I know we both want what's best for him. Why... Look, why can't we just wait until after the election, until we stir things up again? That's all I'm asking. Kelly, this is a huge decision. I'm, I'm not saying that we shouldn't give Ace back. I'm just saying that we should take our time. That's all. You're right, we can't solve anything tonight. There you go. It's late. I want to go home. So we're going to leave this on the table till after the election? Yes. Okay. I'm parked in the back. All right. So. Uh, I have to meet the governor at a Halloween party. Okay. You'll get home safe. Yeah. Okay.
the hell are you doing here, Kelly? Yeah. He scared me. Hmm. Where's your brother? He he went to San Francisco. San Francisco? Today. What time? I don't know. You don't know. So what are you doing here? He called me from the airport. He wanted me to pick up some of his stuff and, and mail it to him when he got a new address. So I said I would. I'm just going to take this and... and Tell you what. Why don't you just leave that there? We're going to log it and I'll let you know when you can come down and pick it up for him. Okay. I'll let him know that you were looking for him. Thank you. Yeah, it's McBain. Look, call the airport, get a passenger list for all the flights leaving for San Francisco today. It's unlikely, but uh, check to see if Paul Kramer's on any of them.